All right, guys, we have some breaking news. Disney California Adventure is announcing, or has announced, a new food event coming to the park starting in mid-March. It'll be based on the Food and Wine Invest Festival. Basically, basically, will be the Food and Wine Festival. And Disney announces, or Disneyland Resort Ken Potrock sent letters to cast members today on D California Adventure's 20th birthday, 20th anniversary of a special video on that coming out later today or tomorrow. But that, um, the park is hosting a limited ticket event, which is interesting because the member I said, I saw the car, the Radiator Springs Racer's waterfall on as well as in my latest uh, downtown Disney uh, California Metro update link up above. Uh, I noticed merchandise cards out by Cars Land, account, Cars Land, and are beyond the rope. Now that's not to say that that area won't be opened up before mid March, but that could be in preparation for this new food and wine festival festival type event. That again is supposed to be in mid March. A thousand cast members are being recalled for the event, which is awesome. It's thousand people back to work which is really good um and mid-march is what's well, like february 8th now so mid-march is over a month away so again they could open up or extend the barrier a little bit maybe to cars land or so before then but i'm not entirely sure but we do know that this inner that this festival will include of course food and of course wine but entertainment, which is very important, entertainment. I wonder what type of entertainment they will have. Um, and more. I don't know what the and more is. Probably merchandise and maybe character meet and greets. I don't know. Um, but socially distant character meet and greets. It'll be very, very interesting. Uh, I'll, of course, be attending. There's no word on, one, if they'll use the whole park or, two, how much the ticket will cost. Um... Wouldn't this be a great opportunity to be the Avengers Campus? I just have this thought come to mind right now. Use a new, use debut Avengers Campus. It's all done for the Food and Wine Festival. That's a great opportunity, a great ticketed opportunity for people to come out, get some food, get some wine, do some shopping, see some entertainment, but then also walk around Avengers Campus and eat there and shop there not write anything but of course eat and shop there and check it out that would be very interesting i wonder if they'll do that i i kind of doubt it but i wouldn't be surprised let me know in the comments below what do you what would you guys think about that would you want them to open avengers campus with this food and wine festival in mid-march i'd be down with that i'd be okay with that and I, at disney i feel like would be okay with that too and may even justify it heightened price increase so like i don't know what the ticket would cost i am guessing around 50 dollars maybe for this thing but avengers campus is included maybe 75 dollars i'd pay it i'd pay and i wonder i'm sure they would have something for the legacy pass holders maybe a discount or so of some sort for this event no matter what the ticket price is i, I feel like legacy pass holders because they would they said um they said the, they'll have many perks and those the the AP events or the the legacy or the AP events and the WandaVision stuff that was um just to start. So I'm sure they'll have something for legacy pass or in the food and wine festival. And I'm sure most people would want a discounted ticket. Especially of course if not everything's open. Of course the rides and stuff like that. And of course if it's just a watered down food and wine festival. So that could be something to look for if you're a legacy pass holder, which I am not. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I wonder if Avengers Campus will open with this. This would be very interesting. And I wonder what the ticket price will be. I'm going to guess about $50. $50 plus, of course, the $10 to park in downtown Disney or wherever you park. It's about $60 total dollars for the driver of the car. $50 for everyone else. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Uh, for food and wine, I feel like that's a good good price. What do you think? Is that too high, too low? And uh, comment down below. What price do you think Disney is going to give this? Um, I'll be following constant updates on this. And these, this is a developing story. So any type of updates, I will definitely 
be making more videos and I cannot wait to go next month and go ahead and go try this out myself. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates and updates on this specific food and wine festival and what perks legacy pass holders get, what the eventual ticket price will be, and what the actual date is. They I just hear they hear in March to mid-March. Um so when more information comes about comes out, I'll be one of the first people to cover it for you. So subscribe for that. And as always, have a fantastic day. And as always, happy anniversary. Happy birthday, California Adventure. You're almost a full adult now. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.